Okay, this is a walkthrough video of our one of the latest grasshopper carts I've built. We don't say much about these grasshoppers. I've been building these for close to four years. There's a couple dozen of them that are out there being used. There has never been a problem with a grasshopper cart of any kind. And I will say that this is the safest and toughest, or at least among the safest and toughest, mini horse carts that are being produced anywhere. I'll go through some of the features. This cart has a just, fully adjustable solid aluminum bar shaft tips. These shaft tips project in past this point so that it strengthens the shaft base. These shaft bases are very strong. This is a very positive lock setup with these two set bolts on these. I've tried various other systems. They didn't work that well. This works and it does not allow those shafts to rotate or move. I have a sliding adjustable footman's loop on here that locks very securely with a set bolt on there. You can adjust that to wherever you need it to accommodate various height horses, length of horses, and different harness styles. This cart has fully adjustable shafts as well as the, the tips are adjustable, but the base itself is adjustable for height. This shaft brace is adjustable for length allowing those shafts to move up or down to suit the height of various different horses. This is very strong construction with bracing, not only braced up and down with these braces, it is braced laterally with these braced, diagonal braces across the corners. Some carts do not have diagonal bracing across the corners and the shafts can bend sideways. My single trees, once again, are all mounted on a bearing setup so that they are quiet and smooth and don't make any, any noise. I just want to make a little note about noise in a cart. If there's noise in one of my carts, I want to know about it so I can fix the problem. Noise indicates a problem. You don't buy a new Cadillac car and put up with noise. If there's noise, it's either poor design or there's a mechanical or maintenance issue. Enough said. This cart has a dash. All my carts now have dashes. At first I had some of them as options. I consider it to be a safety issue. They should have a dash. It gives you a little more purchase to keep you in the cart and protection if the pony kicks. This is a sport model grasshopper and I've added a wing on the side of, the, of what I call the floor, the footboard. This wing has expanded metal in it to give it a little more purchase on your shoes. It allows you when you're cornering hard with this cart, which you can do with this cart, it's designed to handle that. It keeps your feet on the cart where they belong. This cart, as all mine do, again, has a guard here to protect the wheel in case you hook something solid with it, like a post or the corner of your barn or another cart, whatever. It hits this and comes off and around. These wheels are protected from above. Now these small wheels, a lot of folks don't really care for these small wheels, but they do the job admirably well. There's enough cross-sectional area of these tires, pneumatic tires, that they take the place of a suspension. They work extremely well. You can get them in tube or tubeless style. The tubeless style, well the tubed ones too for that matter, you can put slime in the tires to protect them. They're inexpensive tires, it's not a, a prohibitive issue to carry a spare if you're going out in a boat, trail driving, whatever, to take a spare with you in your truck or trailer. Uh, they have very strong bearings, they're a brutally strong, easily replaceable item. You can also replace these with a solid tire that works very well, flat, flat free, I've used them, they do the job. This seat is completely adjustable forward and back to balance this cart. So all my carts are the same. You set the shafts to the horse, you get the shaft and the horse set up right, and then you balance the cart with the seat when the cart is level. Uh, yeah, that's enough of the features of this cart for now.